Stadium 2 is going to be the start. Joker versus Rob should be the match we're expecting, correct? Yeah, it, it's it's going to be something. I, I, we're definitely Joker versus Rob. It's, it's going to be a very, very interesting set. Uh, it's going to be how Benny mitigates uh, Tweak's pressure, I feel like, through most of his... Tweak usually, like, he, he plays most of his matches by ear, and, like, he, he'll keep a respectable distance from him, him and his opponent, mostly at mid-range, so we're going to see some of that this set, hopefully. Now, one thing to note of Tweak is there haven't been a lot of top players on the Joker train alongside MK Layout. His Joker is noticeably more passive. He is pretty adept at using, like, you'll see a lot of wave bounce AIs. You'll see plenty of, like, full distance uh, down guns. Everything he can do to stave off any momentum his opponent can build up. But when it's time to get the combo in, it's fairly consistent. And Rob, that's a big target for a combo. Yeah, I feel, I feel like off stage two, it's going to be a living hell for Benny once uh, Arsene is, is primed and ready, which it, it's about to be. Yeah, as far as, like, specifics of the matchup go, there's a lot that Joker can do to keep Rob off stage if he is. Like, down guns, of course, is going to force uh, Benny to go for a bit wider of recoveries. Uh, our set as a whole, our, uh, the Awakened Fair and Bear, monsters in large hitboxes against a target like Rob. Seeing how Benny returns to the stage when he's sent off is going to be pretty interesting because there's going to be a lot to mix up. Now, one thing we're going to have to note here is how clean Benny's movement is. This man has been known to post lots of Twitter showcases of his movement, so you, you don't count on this man missing a single B reverse or any inputs. That being said, though, Tweak's Twe been opting to take the high road for most of this, just using down guns to establish some sort of space in neutral. And, and But it's looking pretty even. Ben Benny's keeping it very, very respectable, and he's being very patient on his approaches on Tweak. He's only knowing he's only going in once Tweak has exhausted both of his jumps with him there. Well, look at the pressure of the situation. It's like if he does manage to slip up, Benny has to deal with, like, Joker damage. But also, he realizes how passive his opponent is being. Rob can play that game equally well. We've seen plenty of gyro pressure come out from Benny. Laser has been stuffed a few times that Benny's opting to use it, but it can threaten space for a while. But the downhill chases and threatening with full distance there have been working out beautifully for Benny, and that's what's going to allow him to take the first stop. He's taking it very slow and steady right now, only going in when he absolutely knows that he has the opening. Tweak needs to, to start establishing more pressure on him, but Benny's been doing a great job of just keeping Tweak in some sort of mid-range. As is tradition in Smash, once a zoning character has themselves set into a rhythm with playing like a more patient playstyle, they tend to edge out on top compared to like more aggressive characters who have good zoning options. Now that Arsene's up though, I, I like how Benny is still taking it very slow. He knows he has to respect the Arsene, but an excellent drag down up air and up smash by Tweak is going to nail that stock right there. And I, let, I like waiting on the platform. A lot of people say just attack Joker and hit it, but there's no guarantee since Tweak is, like you said, one of the more passive Jokers, so he's going to be able to weave in and out of your approaches pretty well. God damn that damage being added yeah, up already. Look at that, Tweak. man. You want to mess with that on a regular basis? Nah. Poke away at him, camp him out, do what you can. Joker, notably easier for most characters, but especially Rob, when it comes to fighting him with or without Arsene. There you go, Benny finally catching on to Tweak, sitting in shield every time he runs up and finally getting that grab to mix things up a little bit. Now this game is pretty even Stevens right now. And it's remained even, and I feel like that's to the credit of Benny, like giving a lot of respect to how well Tweak is like trying to command the flats. Oh my god, that was sick, bro. And catch him when he's slipping on the landing. There you go. You gotta watch out for that, for that little top, man. As the little dreidel spins, you gotta watch out for it. Benny, great awareness by Benny to the link right into that. Getting a little overzealous with that up smash there. Probably missed him, but I'm assuming. Up smash at zero is, is ballsy. <laughs> it's a big flex, though. You gotta give him that if he got it. Trying to set up for another gyro combo right there. I like this mid range. Benny's been staying at this entire team. Tweak has just not been able to find a way. I feel like his patient style play the if it's to catch. Now that was just rude. But good damage set up by Benny. Looking like a really strong start to the set. However, we're seeing Tweak, Tweak also when Arsene is out, he manages to get a ton of mileage out. And now Benny's on the back foot right now. Teching, is he going to run out of gas? No, he makes it. And Tweak ends up actually biting the dust for that one. Benny taking game one. Very interesting scramble towards the bottom of Stadium 2. But I feel like, nonetheless, this, the match was played out very well by Benny. He seems to have a very clear idea of this matchup. And he recognized pretty early on that Tweak wanted central control of the platforms. Like Tweak wanted the platforms, but Benny, Benny's 
kind of mitigated that a little bit. Benny's movement off the platforms are also great, using just these tiny little beat reverses to refocus himself right in front of Tweak. He's been playing this matchup really, really smartly. So Tweak's staying on Joker. You know, he, he wants to show that he can ride it all the way through with this character. It, it, I don't blame him. This character's pretty goddamn good. <laughs> this, is a, this is a very doable matchup for Joker. It's Absolutely. Just, I feel like that Benny has a, a pretty strong game plan, very well executed into game one. Let's see if he can run it back right here on Stadium for game two. The fact that Benny was doing a good job of occupying like the vertical space where Tweak couldn't contest with uh, with guns, it just goes to show like, like how well of an understanding Benny has for his own tools as well. We saw after that first game a fair amount of data collection from Tweak. You've already noticed that there's a dramatic shift in his play style as this game. He's starting to camp him more in mid-range. He's starting to stay in Benny's face more often. And he's already gotten 82% racked up really, really quickly. You, you, he, he just turned on the aggression out of nowhere, and I, don't, I think Benny, Benny wasn't ready for it. Well, Benny beat it out of him, the idea of being able to camp with downwards guns along the flats. Rob has the tools to, con to actually contest for that space, and we saw that every time that Benny was given the opportunity, he either made a lot of damage out of it, or he managed to never stop. This ledge trapping by Tweak is also immaculate right now. He, Benny just can't get in. Tweet, tweet, he has him at the door, it's like a Jehovah's Witness. He's like, all right, do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior, Rob? Tweet's like, no. Just closes the door on him. Takes that first stock. That was clean. Hella clean by Tweak right there. Gotta keep it crispy, man. Especially, that's actually the move I want to see Tweak leverage the most in this matchup. would probably be there. Like, even without Arsene, it's an amazing spacing tool. Takes advantage of Rob's large size while keeping the opponent at a good distance. And if anything, you could potentially, like, rob out a lot of damage from Benny by bringing him off stage with him. One thing to note as well is that Tweak is also just playing more grounded this set. He Before, he was using the uh, down guns to really establish some semblance of stage control. But in, in in doing that, he kind of just got waited out too long. Now that he's taking more grounded approach, Benny's the one who's being forced to jump in. Landing as Rob is no easy feat. Well, think about it this way. Both of these guys get a lot from their aerial games. So jumping is a pretty notable commitment for them. If they're able to punish who's in the air first, you take the lead like that. So in the beginning of game one, Tweak was being able to suppress out of the air. He's doing a good job of making sure he's catching Benny's landings. That turned its head real quick and what gave Benny game one. But now all of a sudden we're turning it right back in Jesus favor of Tweak. Completely <laughs> suffocating Benny. Hey man, wake up, I'm a good player. Basically is what, is what Tweak's saying against uh, Benny right now. Benny just trying to find this kill somehow, some way. He's still playing the slow game, but I feel like he needs to kick it into gear a little bit more. Start using that fancy movement of his to establish some way in on Tweak because right now Tweak is just Walling him out completely. Yeah, oh my gosh, yeah, that could have yeah, been yeah. it. Let's get some damage up on the board. Okay, yeah, very nice setup right there. Not too much Tweak could have done there after he'd already buffered his get up option. Just gotta hold that one, my mans. I, I think one thing he's been thriving immensely off of is just keeping Benny in the corner. There's really not too much Benny can do. Even pulling a gyro serves some risk to him because the, the time it'll take will give Tweak enough time to, to rush in on him. Wow, that was a really good mix-up. They're a great option to pick against Rob, especially for calling out spot dodges because he's going to occupy space a little bit longer. Not nearly as good as Rob's there, but still an impressive move. And we'll link into plenty of options for Joker. The empty hopping for Tweak, though. That's something I want to bring up. Yeah. It's been hella smart. It's been it's been paying its dividends too because he he's been able to threaten a lot of options by just empty hopping because because Joker's got a lot of options like Nair, forward air, even just tomahawk grab is also another very powerful option that Joker can use and, and when he's right in your face. This is looking this is looking pretty dusky. Yeah, considering that only just now Benny's able to get some damage up on the board for the second stock of tweaks. Uh oh. You know, to say nothing of the fact that Twix still has a whole stock lead over Benny right now. And he's, he's got the power of Persona on his side right now. Literally just one one little sneeze from Tweak is going to end this game. Uh-oh. Is he going to run out of gas? He's trying to stall that recovery Good. to just bait Tweak going down, but Tweak is not having any of it. Some life left in Benny, though. With the amount of rage he's accumulated, a, a, a kill is, is not too far off. Hey, listen, if you're surviving at 208, you've come to the conclusion that your opponent might be struggling to kill you a little bit. <laughs> so maybe you're not out of the woods just yet. I love how Benny has also been staying by his gyro in the off chance. That it does, it hits, almost getting that punish right there. Oh, no. Oh. Ah, yeah, he, I think he realized he messed up and overcommitted just a little too hard. The boost glide, I think a really cute trick. 
but a bit early of a call to use it like that in the set. How does my man get in the car so quickly? He's used to it. He's, he's got to go to church or something. I don't know where he's going. He, he, he just zooms in there, here. bro. That's what matters. Does he phase into it? Because that car's still moving as he enters it, bro. Well, yeah. You ever step on a bus or a train while it's leaving? No. You've never been in a rush, though. New York rush hour is, uh, is, is something. Damn, man. Yeah, even Stevens right now. Is, is uh, top 64 best of three or best of five? From what I heard earlier, uh, I believe it's best of three from this okay. point Yeah, on. I feel like top 16 might be best of five or something like that. This event has been running pretty well despite some hiccups here or there. Shouts to RJ. Shouts to the stream staff as well. Shouts to Chris. Shouts to Kevin. Kelvin. Like, yeah. everyone's been killing it today. And, you know, establishing wide tri is not only dominant in Smash, but also... Pretty damn kick ass at, uh, at, at running streams. Hey man, it's not just the players who got the talent. We're scrappy on all ends. Hell yeah. Let's do it. Benny deciding what stage. There's a lot of effort put into this, bringing us to town and city. I think that's a good pick. I think the extra space is definitely what Benny's going to need a little bit. Plus, having the stage transform into FD is going to help him out. That's Quite the part. That, that's the part that I think is really going to give him the, that, that little kick that he needs. Yeah, it'll it'll help catch some landings too, which is really good. Which, uh, but the thing is, Tweak hasn't been like soaring through the sky too much. He's been. We're, we're gonna see maybe if Benny adjusts here or if uh, he's gonna try and play the patient game like he's been doing for most of the set. And we may very well see a return to form for Tweak when it comes to that passive play. Flats on Town and City gives so much room for down gun camping as well as giving a ton of options for a Joker to be able to just pick away and shark at you as needed. He can cover them just as easily when it comes to his turn to drive the ledge. Like, it's a fairly decent stage for Joker, especially the way that Tweak plays him. So, I'm interested to see how well Benny can make use of this one. And you see Benny's just been waiting patiently. He, he's been waiting for his entourage of uh, gyros and lasers to kind of pave the way for him. Going for some crazy stuff right there. Might have lost some stage control, but manages to make it back. I love the treadmill. Ooh. The treadmill platform just zooming him back into the fight. All right, catching for some early damage. Not going to make that much effort out of it. Ooh, that was clean. Yeah, see, this is the type of movement we're, we're, we're used to seeing from Benny. There's Twitter exhibitions, and it works. This man probably sits in training mode for at least 30 minutes a day just practicing, practicing movement. Oh, I need to give him even more time than that. There's a lot of effort that's got to be put into the minute fixes of Rob. You know, say what you will about the character, but it takes a lot of effort to move clean with someone so big. My man just got vibe checked. That was a full-on vibe check. My man tried to jump in and just ended up eating it. It's like you like... <laughs> He said you like moving so much. <laughs> we'll blast on real quick. <laughs> All right, though, getting the down throw in the back air. Yep, that's going to be a classic B and B. Oh no, he misses the ledge trap with the nair, and Benny's just able to sneak by. And he's not been rushing for the gyro too much. He's been running up to it to respectable mid range, and if he doesn't see Tweet going for it, then you know damn well he's going to go for it. Where did the gyro come from? That man's a magician. He just pulled it out of out of his hat. Yeah, man. He's showing that item play. Being really cute with item play is super important. Because you get to mix up how that item is going to have presence on the stage. And especially the way that Benny has been denying its uh, grounded presence by throwing it in the air. Which we can't use it if he's nowhere in range to grab it. And this neutral right now by Tweak is ridiculous. You saw how he was just weaving in and out with the guns, not over committing, but still baiting out enough options to get Benny to force his hand a little bit. Yeah, he, he doesn't want to commit too hard because he's seen time and time again he makes these little mistakes with Joker and he's paying like really gravely for it. Was that, was that B reverse down guns? Jesus Christ. I don't know I'm sure that you got a little bit of flair too. He's got a little bit of sauce. Oh okay, yeah, man's, man's got a little bit of sauce, all right? There's a whole bucket. A whole bucket of sauce. All right, though, Benny taking a moment to recompose. Getting back down. He, he had a good spot earlier. Like he had, he had the lead much earlier. But he's been kind of halting his pocket. You see that Tweak has been slowly slowing this game down for Benny and making kind of him, uh, making Benny play his game a little bit. He's got so many options on the Animal Crossing stages. He's so fluid too. Benny's getting so close to hitting Tweak every time, but the spacing and timing of his jumps has just been mucking with it every single time. Well, another another thing I want to note is the passive damage being racked up by the uh, the side B. It, it does it does tend to do a little bit of after damage every single time, and even if Tweak isn't uh, 
encroaching on him with these big aerials, he's still getting that passive damage over it, and it adds up over time. Oh, no, the, the damage over time from AI is particularly notable, especially Aga. Like, the fact that it has so much knockback, the fact that you're just getting so much. Like, look at that. He's racked up. I, I want to see how much damage he's racked up over time with that. That being said, though, off a of fresh stock right there for Benny, this is Benny's time to really wrap this game up. We've already seen him live past 200 in previous games. Oh, we live in. Can he make it happen here in game three? Oh, this is an uncomfortable angle for him to recover on. He's just got to make it back into the stage. Ah! Can't be using Gyro that close. A little too close. Still really great showing from Benny right there. He, he Taking Tweak to last stock game three is not an easy feat whatsoever. The best of three in OS. That's yeah. You know the pressure's really on for both. For real. He kept, it, he kept it pretty calm, cool, and collected. Just Tweak, you know, Tweak was able to wrap it up. His movement was so fluid throughout that entire set. Really good showing by both players, honestly. Happy with how that went, especially because, like... I was sick. You, you, know queued up some, you queued up some bangers, my friend.